Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're here once again to learn more about God and his word. Today I have a question for you. Have you ever said, is, is that good enough? Like, for example, your parents tell you, you need to finish eating your food. And so you take a few more bites and then you say, is that good enough? Can I go now? Or maybe your parents said, clean your room. And so you clean your room and, you know, it's mostly clean. And so you go to your mom or dad and you say, can you come look? Is that good enough? Did I do a good enough job? Can I be done? Or maybe at school you have your grades, right? And so you, you have an assignment and, and you or, or a test and you fill out the test. And then when you... You wonder probably, did I do good enough for an A? And then you find out after your teacher grades it, and you find out if you did good enough to get the grade you wanted. Or maybe you're learning an instrument and, and you have to practice every day. And so you practice for a little while and then, and then you go to your mom and dad, is that good enough? That's a question we ask a lot in this life. You know who else asked that question? Martin Luther. He asked God that question. And the answer made him angry at God. You see, he read the Bible and he saw all of the things that he was supposed to do. And so he he kept wondering, am I doing good enough to get to heaven? Have I done enough? And so he tried really hard, but in God's word, he didn't find an answer. And so that made him mad at God. It, it made him mad that, that he didn't know if he did enough. It made him mad that he would never know if he had done enough to get into heaven. But then something happened. He was reading God's word. And he realized something. He realized that God doesn't tell us that we need to do anything to get into heaven. And so it's not about if we have done enough. The question that's more important is, has God done enough? And so he was thinking, and this made him angry at God, God How do I know if I've done enough? And God responds saying, you don't, you don't need to know because I have already done enough to save you and to save the world. God says, that's why I sent my son, Jesus, because he did enough to save everyone. That's what he was doing when he lived that perfect life. That's what he was doing when he died on the cross to win forgiveness for everyone. It was enough. And when Martin Luther realized that, he wasn't angry at God anymore. It was so special to him that God does enough to get everyone into heaven. That was a message he wanted everyone to know about. And so he started writing letters. He translated the Bible. He did all sorts of things so that more people would know that God has done enough to save them. That's what we celebrate today. That's what the Lutheran Reformation is all about, is that God has done enough to save you. Which means you never have to worry. You never have to think again for the rest of your life. Have I done enough? Because Jesus already has done it all to save you. What a wonderful truth it is that God showed us through Martin Luther and through the Reformation. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for showing us Jesus who did enough 
to save all people from their sins. Help us always trust in Him and never worry if we have done enough. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to this message today. God be with you all. Be safe. And may the peace of Christ be with you.